Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a fairly quick video. Um, what I'm going to do in this is I'm going to talk about some uh, RNG bar ends that I've got. These are the slider ones. They're, uh, they're made out of um, aluminium, but they've got a neat little uh, like a nylon uh, section, um, which is supposed to obviously um, aid uh, in the event of an accident. Um, what I did have uh, after I fitted these rental bars, um, the video uh, link to that, if you haven't seen it, I'll put it in the top corner now. Um, I got these little rental bar ends, and as you can see, if I take the out sleeve off, they they just don't look right. Um, when I ordered them, I didn't realise they were going to be so small. Um, when, they when they arrived, I just I just wasn't happy. So I'm going to chin those off uh, because I can use them on a different bike. Uh, I've got to fit some heated grips onto the Peugeot Django at some point for the wife because she likes to have toasty hands, um, and then I can use those on that. So they won't go to waste. Anyway, let's uh, let's get these bad boys fitted and uh, have a look at how they look. As you can see, looking at the uh, looking at the model number, um, these are specifically made for rental bars. Uh, that's the model number there. If you've got a set of rental bars, these are 22 mil bars, um, rental and LSL bars, but they also fit the Ducati 848 and the Diavel Monster 1200 um, and, and those bikes as well. Specifically, um, I guess they have the uh, the same diameter uh, in the bars. So let's pop them out like so. Get rid of that. Let's pop that one in my pocket so it doesn't get lost. And as you can see here, it's simply a little cone with a screw thread in it. And as you tighten the bolt down, the, the, the cone will get pulled in and push these out, which will then grip on the inside of the uh, grip on the inside of the of the bars. So the little nylon puck is removable. Um, whether it's actually available as a separate item, I don't know. So if you have an accident and you just damage the puck, you could maybe just replace it. I'd have to look at the RNG website for that. If that's the case, then that would be pretty cool. Um, saves you having to buy the whole thing. They're not massively expensive. I think they were about 28 quid, um, which I think's you know, perfectly reasonable for something of such good quality. Um, I'll leave a link to them in the description if you want to go and check them out. Um, they are available for any bike, not just Renful bars. Obviously, these are specific for Renful bars, but you can you can also get them for uh, for your bike as well, should you wish to do so. Okay, so in order to fit them, we need to put the bolt back in. I'll get it up to up to touch. What we want to do is just get it so that it's just nipped. Uh, otherwise, all that will happen is as we try and tighten it up, it will just spin. And then pop it in like so. Now, before I've even tightened it, we can already see that it's a nice, nice bit of kit. And it's simply a case of getting it in, holding it still, and then tightening the bolt. That little cone has been drawn in and it's forcing the uh, those the, the petals, let's call them petals, forcing the petals out, which is then gripping on the inside of the grip it on the inside of the bar and then just nip it up and there we are as you can see that looks absolutely fantastic so what i'll do come around to the other side and do exactly the same Put that one on there like so go as you can see it's not interfering with the throttle whatsoever and i think you'll agree they do finish off the setup absolutely perfectly they do look really really nice and i'm glad that i opted to buy those so anyway guys hopefully you'll agree with me that they you know they they, they are the finishing touch to this modification on the vfr 800 um if you like this video then give it a like down below leave a comment if you wish and i will see you all again for the very next video Take care now. Bye-bye.